really see much of it but since there's a few gaps here just use a few gaps for you I know some of you are going to whinge you've done it in the wrong way but it's kind of like easier viewing it that way so that I can actually do that so I don't have the bar on the sat where I need it so digging everything for what's going to be a car park well, temporary car park I think for a while I've also got that done I think we can get on but you can see the little bit of concrete that's left from where the old floor slab used to be not much, not much has changed around here Change around here yet. Still a bit up. You can see some of the lights from that side as well, and uh, more of the store frontage has come down by the looks of this. See more storefront. Looks like a couple of the storefronts have been taken out. Again, there's no tape down here, so I'm going to have a walk. Don't tape it up, people are gonna walk. Pretty simple. And they've just got their coding fence, but I mean I can't pull to come down here, but I mean you can see where they've got some of their bits and pieces in and where they've still got bits are further up that way already off and, but there's not really much but there was a couple of viewing windows in some of this at least we can see some more progress apart from just seeing the giant dinosaurs just munching away you know Most store fronts have gone down. Yeah, there's a little bit of work over there going on. Definitely more stuff has got come out. Anyway, we'll see what that walkway looks like if I can get to it. Truck. Probably waiting to pick up some of this shit. I think this old place is getting renovated, I think. More than likely because it hasn't come down, so I believe it's one of the things that's surviving and staying. Now we can actually get a bit of better look at things. Because this used to be where the old cafe was, and then it was seen as like a internet cafe for a while. Uh, so some of these I can't even remember, because I think some of this bit was non used for a little while. And you can see where like, the two layers of stores were and then all your parking structure above with everything which is like you know your typical thing it's weird because this is like a sort of in between half demolition half urbex because you've got everything around you you don't see how it was constructed in the bits where it's still abandoned because most of this section wasn't really in use it was quite abandoned in areas so one of the walkways up here did used to get a little bit wet. Because it was yeah, an ounce of times that had been here pre 2011. Some areas were, were looking a little bit sad and sorry for themselves. 
most of this lot around here as you can still see the 89s all around <coughs> I haven't got a clue why but this is happening not just in America and in Britain but even in Australia and a couple of other places a lot of the things that were built in the 80s 90s even the late 70s are all coming down whether it's because they're not fit for purpose or not I don't know but I mean you can hear them making some noise down through there in that part of the mall Makinson's Arcade one of the older parts obviously the, when they do cut it they're going to be very careful to bifurcate it at the edge of the wall and make sure that they don't nick anything there because that does have to uh, come along a lot of this like through here to about this bit well actually not all the way to about this bit it was all covered with a nice big covered walkway under here which is why all this brick was here and it was where the edgings were so about that edging point there so you can see where they've taken the walls out to at least give a bit of space but it's not it's not ideal especially with it being like that but I mean sometimes once or twice in the main boardings some of these are at least portals in the I think these will be nice further down there and along the other wall and even over the other side because we could have cut some portals in it so we could see what's going on so even if we had that perspex through to the back of it that would be nice so we don't have to employ the dark arts of a drone or, you know south -east. you know so if they could use these hoardings cut portals in them this is when they're doing this bit down here you know what I mean I'm older than this. Well, I believe it, I'm older than this. But why is it coming down at this age? I don't know. But... So, yeah, I'm two years older than how this was completed. And it wasn't actually fully completed in 1989, it was completed fully, I believe, in 91, 92. So that begs the question, is this a waste? 170 million now for all of this? So it's probably going to go louder. It's probably going to go worse. But, I mean, shoes on. I never bought much from in there, but it wasn't too bad. Steels was pretty good if you wanted, you know, slightly just out of fashion stuff. Or even if you just wanted cheap stuff to spend on holiday with, it was good. Like Primani. Just looks weird and feels weird. This is as close as some of you are going to get to an urbex. Speaking of that, I might just give you a bonus. So bear with. But at the end of this, is probably going to have something else. If I can get down onto the site in the park. Some of you will know where I'm going. Well, I will leave you with this bit. And if I can get down there, and if it's not too wet, then I will have a little TED talk near something else. Here we guess this place, and you are dead on. There's the uh, chimney tower that nuisance climbed. No, I am not going to explore or adventure or anything. I am not dressed for it. There's too many people around anyway. And to be honest, that place, over the years, the years that I've done it, that place is looking sadder and sadder. Because it's a shame that it's all gone. If you can't hear the wind. Sorry, not my problem. I don't have a, a wind sock with a microphone on this thing it's, I don't have my big old camera yeah, I don't have a big DSLR there's like a you know, like a boiler house of some type or like some a boiler house originally you can see like you know how it was modified in the 80s to join up with the college which ironically I probably said that in the previous video that I did all this place uh, but if I'd have chosen to come here to do my catering, I would have been up there on that top floor. 
over that side, more towards where the, the tower is. I would have been up here rather than going to Runshaw, but me and my friends were at Runshaw. Yeah, it's also those of you who are of a train disp disposition, train line right there because Northwestern, and then one that those snakes go to is over there, and uh, Walgate ain't so far away. But having this place literally five minutes walk away from the town is a bit weird. I can probably still see where the holes are to get in, but I ain't going in. I do have some photos from the last time I was here. I might put those up. Uh, you never know. If I can find them, if I can find them somewhere in one of my old record boxes, I'll find them and put them up. Um, but, you know. Yeah, another one of the ironies is I've worked in the sister mill to this, doing the call centre work. You know, telesales, call centre, whatever you want to say. You know, gift to the gab and all that, and all sort of the crestings coming up. I'll zoom in where I can see. There's some more of the cresting. Tops to the left. Means more of the roof is compromised, which, as you can see over there, is quite a bit of a blue streaking through. The structure is definitely compromised now. But, so here's the walkway that you would use to go up to it originally, and also there was another one which I know of, but I'm not going to show. But it looks like someone's boarded up a bit more stuff. Yeah, they've blocked the main hole that we would have used. But, I mean, it's just the oddity of it all. Just having this is here in the middle of town. A ghost of the past. It's eerie, very, very eerie. I'll walk you up as close as I'm legally allowed to because you know, they will get us for this. They will get us if we go beyond the boards. But it's still public land up until the fence, so. And I can't tell if that's others or what, but yeah, they don't really feel cool. Maybe one day I'll come back when I'm dressed for it and I'm dressed for adventure. But Uh, again, this is why I wanted to come down here because of the 80s-ness of this facade because it matches with what they're tearing down in the middle of town, you know. Oh right, yeah, they extended a few of the, you know, the outer proportions and some of the other bits and they cleaned it up a bit, but I mean, I didn't the fact that they use yellow structural steel. I know they wanted to make it industrial because this was basically the tech part of it. You know, you had like your engineering and mechanic in and all of that. You know, sure at some point they even ran a boiler repair workshop in there at one point and then they just let it go. And now it's as it is now, which it's a shame. I know some of you in the comments are probably going to be go in, go in, go in. No. You really think I'm gonna go in like this? Nah. -uh. Maybe if I've got my airbags back and I got my resp. Yeah. The old resp. And I got my torch and everything and all of my heavy gear. Then I'll go in, but right now, no. Earlier I thought I could hear people running around, but I can't. But this structure is trashed. The roof is definitely compromised in a lot more places than when I was here last. And I did the and I did this place quite a while ago. I've hit this place up a few times. Most of them, well, all of the other times, apart from one, I didn't document. But this place is just thrashed. So if I can find the photos, I'll put them up 
but it's just a mess, man. Yeah. Like, you know, even the steel's coming off of the roof. Well, tin work. It's coming off of the roof, and again, that part of the elevation's broken up. So, that's definitely compromised. So, well, I dare anyone that goes in there, man. But, I mean, for those of you who've watched it through from the others, what do you reckon should I go on with this place? Do you really think that they should try and just leave it as it is? Do you think that they should try to save it or get a pull? Yeah. I don't think there's much save in it to be honest now. I don't think there's much save in it. But I'm going to spin it to you. What do you think? Should they just leave it to rot because, like, you know, whoever owns it, I don't know whether it's the, the, something to do with the college still or whether it's got a private owner or what now. Because there's all sorts of rumours going around that it's, you know, it's owned by a, co a private company or it's still part of the college or whatever, you know. So there's that or, you know, should it just be pulled or should it be saved? I'd love to see it safe, but I don't think it ever would be because from what I know from when I've been in, she's a mess. She's a mess. There's holes in the floor, there's obviously as you can tell with the bits over there, the you know the roof is compromised and anyone that can see right right there, you know, you can see blue sky all the way through that. The roof is way gone and that's all the catering area. Okay, as I said earlier, the catering is over here. But that's all where it all was. Yeah. It's just all, it's all trashed. Yeah, so. What do you reckon? Should, should she be saved? I'd love to see it saved, but I really do doubt it. I just doubt that they'll ever be able to do that. Because from what I know, it's way too far gone. But maybe you could save it because I'm sure there are buildings that have been in worse condition than that that have been saved, but it would um, cost a hell of a lot to save her. So, uh, what do you all think? Answer to the postcard down below. Anyway, I will leave you with that. I will bid you adieu. Goodbye.